Hold on. Go. Hi, I'm Steve Kozowski from Kia Motors America. And this is the motor from the 2015 Soul Baby. It's a 210 pound feet, 109 horsepower, 8 C synchronous permanent magnet motor. Uh, what's cool about it is. Um, the whole unit is, is really compact and lightweight, weighs about 130 pounds. This is the motor, which is the gear drive unit, so it's a one-speed transmission. And over here is the electrically powered uh, air conditioning compressor. This is where the, the power gets fed in to drive the motor, and it's where it comes out on regeneration. And a lot of the effort that went into making this motor is to have very good NVH, that's noise vibration harshness, and very long wind. So when you drive the car, you notice there's very, very little wind on acceleration and deceleration. It packages neatly in the engine compartment of the soul, and uh, yes, that's a byproduct of having developed the EV in parallel with the gasoline car, so that uh, packaging and fitment of the motor, everything could be easily done. Okay. Uh, now, what stacks on top of this are a lot of these components right here. This whole array stacks right on top of that underhood. It's very compact. This is the junction box where you have energy coming in, literally coming in from the from the charge ports at the front of the car, and feeds energy into the junction box. And then this basically sends it into the battery, or you know, the, the battery power comes back here and sends it into the air conditioning compressor or down to the motor and things like that. So it's where there's a lot of power coming and going. Underneath is the onboard charger. Now, the thing that's on the wall is not really a charger. The charger's in the car, um, and so that's managing how much energy is actually going into the battery. And below that is uh, the controller and the inverter. And what's cool about this device is that it's uh, ganging together a lot of different components in one box. So it's, it's improving packaging. And you'll also notice that there's, there's, there's cooling points because we want to cool the power electronics and cool the motor, of course. And then we take the heat from that and we run that into the um, heat pump based HVAC system. And what we do is we're essentially collecting the heat that would have been wasted and we're going to use that to heat the cabin uh, when it's cold out. So it's a very relatively simple uh, system. Uh, hey, look, we're going to take the heat from the 